What's up, everybody, and welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Ryan Murphy. I'm Josh Williams. And today we're giving you our first look at the Tomb Raider, uh, the second trailer, or first trailer, because the first second. one was a teaser, however the hell it works. Uh, Tomb Raider, trailer two. Um, all right. Um, have you even been excited for this at all? I mean, yeah, it might be an enjoyable movie. I Everyone... like that they're taking a different take. Mm. I mean, because the original ones with... Uh, with um, Sorry, Angelina Jolie. They were very close to the PlayStation game, like how mm. she looked and how, like the, you know, I guess adventures. This is taking a new approach to the newer Tomb Raider movies, where she's kind of before she had you know the long hair and the guns and the hips mm. and everything like that. So I, I kind of I'm glad to see a different take for Lara Croft. He's kind of going back to where she was younger. I, don't know, I think I'm a little excited for it. And Elisa Vikander to me is an amazing amazing actress. I mean, if you haven't seen Ex Machina or um, Oh gosh, what was that movie she was in with um, that she won her Academy Award for? Um, God, I love the movie. It's Danish Girl. Danish Girl, thank you very much. She was oh so amazing in that. I, I find it amusing. Everyone's like, oh, every, every time a video game based movie comes out, like, oh, can it break the video game curse? Because there's never been a good video game movie. And then I'm like, wasn't the first Tomb Raider supposed to be pretty good? And they're like, and like you were like, yeah, it's okay. I'm like, well, then curse broken. What are you talking about? Like, uh, I think I think what they're looking for is something that's something that's very critically acclaimed and like actually it's like what comic book movies are doing you know like yeah. where it's just so widely loved like Tomb Raider the original the original with Angela Zoo, it's, it's more of a guilty pleasure movie you know what I'm saying yeah like just like Mortal Kombat is a guilty pleasure I think they're looking for something that's really going to break the mold and we all thought Assassin's Creed was going to oh, be yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> I mean cool Ooh. that was a big turd but hopefully, I don't know. I we'll just see. just just from like I've never seen the movie. Just his reaction just makes me like scared of it. I like, mean, I remember when that movie ended. It's chilly. No, I remember that movie ended. I was like, I blurted out. I didn't mean to blurt it out. I was like, that movie. I was like, well, that sucked. Everyone in the crowd like laughed as I said that. And I walked out, and everyone was just kind of like, yeah, that that movie yeah, sucks. Like... <laughs> All right, but let's get into this one. Let's see how this trailer turns out. I thought I saw that again. Well, that's crazy. You're crazy. Mad. He's dead. Lara, your father's gone. At some point, we have to face up to who we are. Who we're meant to be. I think I know where my dad went. That's right in the middle of the Devil's Sea. It'll be an adventure. Death is not an adventure. <laughs> Doing here, Laura. Seven years I've been on this island. Your father, he put me here. Oh, now I see the lightness, oh, intelligence, the recklessness. What do you know about my father? Laura, there was more to my life than boardrooms and business deals. No. This organization called Trinity is looking to start a global genocide. Your dad sure you had a bigger holiday. Had a knack for the unexpected. You must stop them, Laura. Promise me. Go! <laughs> Ladies first. Open the tomb! Oh, come on. Good. 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 Good choice. I don't know. Put it down. It's your finger that's pulling this trigger. You messed with the wrong family. <laughs> So we've talked about um, this trend. I forget where it began. I go back to like one of our trailer reactions from like six months ago. We were doing something. I was like, "Huh, it's funny they used that classic song in there or this or whatever." And then like it started to be this thing where these maybe I don't know. Survivor counts as classic. It's like fifteen years old, but I mean, it's not. I mean, so you know what I mean. More than that. Um, but it's, 
Yeah, uh, but yeah, so we, we kept noticing that in our trailer. Like, oh, oh, yeah, okay, they're using that. God, they're doing it. And then when they started doing it, I was like, no, no. It's the new trend. It's the I new know, trend. but like, I'm a survivor, but I know. It's just. But it, it's fitting. I don't know. I think it's fitting for the context it's, of the movie it just and, came and the female off lead. It's so cheesy to me. I don't know. I, but, I enjoyed it quite a bit. But I'm hoping. It, I said this about the Assassin's Creed trailer, I remember. Like, they're really trying to go all out, they're really trying to give it their best. To make it a you know dramatic story with some heart and some actual good story to it and dialogue. I I was tricked before. I'm still gonna be apprehensive because it's a video game movie, but I am excited for it. The trailer it was great. I really liked it. The effects look great from what you can from some of the spots you saw. I don't know, what did you well besides the song? Did you, what did you think of the actual trailer? I thought it. Um, I thought it looked actually really good. I thought there's a strong possibility that it could be a very it looked very exciting, and you know we talked we've talked as well before about how you know a trailer maker's job is to make the film yeah. look good. So I mean that's like that's the editing of the trailer. That's I mean a good trailer editor can make you know Once Upon a Time in Mexico look great, which they did. It's an amazing trailer. <laughs> it's a terrible movie. Uh, go watch it. It's like the best trailer ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, but. Um, uh, he so lost, it's lost. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was thinking back. Wow, that was an amazing. <laughs> like that is like that's like the Godfather of trailers. And the, I mean, um, but but, anyway. uh, but um, the the movie looks like it could be a very cool, exciting. Like oh, that was a really good, enjoyable popcorn movie. But it could also be something a little bit more. It could be something like Marvel Studios, where it just carries that extra hint of something uh, greater, or where it's just oh, that was really character driven and really awesome, and I really rooted for that character. And you know, mm-hmm. maybe not as great as Raiders of the Lost Ark, but um, you know, better than uh, Can- Kingdom the, of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> like a lot of stuff is better than Kingdom of the Crystal. But like, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm. I, I got from. It. I was like, I'm I'm optimistic. I'm looking forward to going. Same here. All right, folks, that is for today. Thank you very much for watching. What did you think of the Tomb Raider trailer number two? Leave your comments section below. Let us know whether you're excited or not and whether you're going to have your butt in that seat too to, re- uh, to watch it. I know we will because we're going to review it, but I'm uh, personally excited. Also, if you like what you watch, then please hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel so you can receive more of our various content in the future. Also, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. The links are in the description below. That's all we have for you today. I'm Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And thanks for keeping it real with real time.